Hello and welcome. So today we are checking out the new DLC announcement for Starship Troopers Terran Command. Let's see, big announcement for Troopers. Get ready to play a new DLC in Starship Troopers Terran Command. Urban Onslaught is coming in June 2024. Now, that's all this announcement says, but there's a picture we can check out and there's a video as well. After that, we will check out the actual DLC store page for this. Alright, 38 seconds. Let's see what's in this trailer. Well, immediately... Look at these. It's like a bigger, even scarier variation of the Scorpion. The Bugs have broken through the outer city defenses and are encroaching upon Liberty Square. Mobile infantry detachments just arrived to reinforce the local police units. They have brought state-of-the-art heavy weapons to stem the tide. But we still need more boots on the ground to achieve victory. Are you doing your part? Okay, that brief amount of footage actually did show quite a lot of new stuff. So let's rewind it back a little. These. This is a shield icon, seemingly. And all of these units have riot shields or something like it, and they are firing what seems to be some type of shotgun off towards the bugs. They seem like a very good defense unit. So that has to be one of these local police force units that are being added. Strive to reinforce the local police. And then there is this mech back here that fires off some missiles at the bugs that they are holding off here and and we see the uh, the blast fired off by the new scorpion unit. and it hits seemingly one single target they have brought state of the art they have brought state of the art heavy weapon then we see this some kind of wrench icon maybe that's some kind of to stem the tide maybe that's some kind of police engineer but we still need more bo They certainly look like engineers with the packs and the flamethrowers from here. This is also certainly new. Some kind of walker unit. And then the stars, I presume, are the DPS units for the police force. Now, this DLC was supposed to add vehicles. This vehicle right here certainly does not look like it's going to move. So when vehicles were being mentioned, I wonder if it was not so much trucks, but more in relation to these. Boots on the ground to achieve victory. That was cool. A new drop pod system for Marauders. That was pretty neat. This was the previous screenshot they shared said next dlc we've got a new dlc in the works it'll bring a fresh campaign countless new units to command vehicles to control and arachnids to kill so stay tuned for further briefings and that's what gave the impression that maybe these vehicles are ones that you can command but maybe not maybe these are just scenery and it is those kind of walker vehicle units that it was referring to the Bugs have broken through the outer city defenses and are encroaching upon Liberty Square. So when that guy gets hit, a fire effect is actually left on him. Mobile infantry detachment. And he burns up. To Furious. The local police units. Yeah, lingering fire damage maybe? Don't know. But there's some kind of fire effect associated with those scorpions. Okay, so this is all the information it's going to give us so far. Answer the call. A ferocious arachnid onslaught has swept through the city suburbs, completely overwhelming local police forces. Never before have they faced such a massive and meticulously orchestrated assault. Majestic boulevards and towering skyscrapers are 
reduced to rubble as the bug hordes encroach upon the central districts. The very homes of our citizens are now in grave peril, but the city will not fall. The mobile infantry has arrived to preserve freedom and smash the bugs, and they have brought the Federation's latest war machines to stamp out even the most vicious arachnid threats. Do your part and enlist today. Together we will drive back the bugs and reclaim this beacon of human civilization. Alright, reap the rewards. This expansion includes a new planet with a new urban environment. Squash the bugs in city streets, liberate a massive airport, clear internal buildings and venture through underground basements, sewers, and metro lines. Eight mission story campaign focused on open maps that offer tactical freedom. Two new challenge missions. Eight new player units, including mechanized missile launchers, hovering autocannons, and airborne gunships. And four new arachnid types. So we have seen the two police units, the smaller walker mech, and the four-legged bigger missile launcher mech. So that is four of the eight player units. Okay, so this is the first still image that we get to see of the new DLC. There's a couple things I'm immediately noticing. One is that these engineers are putting up seemingly a new type of turret, but what does this turret have to do with this skyhook that is flying in? Is it an ability of these new engineers to just have a skyhook deliver a turret and they don't have to spend the time to build it? I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I forgot about these engineers, so that is five of the eight that we have seen. Now, it did mention hovering autocannons and airborne gunships. This, I would say, fits more in line with the hovering autocannon. So not including this guy, that would make this one number six. It looks more like a drone that floats around and fires at the bugs. It'll be interesting to see what bugs can actually deal with this if it never goes down to the ground. There are instances already of bug AI not being able to handle when something is inaccessible, like if a unit was up here. So it makes me wonder how the bugs will be able to handle this. Here we get a glimpse of a new, uh, a new aerial bug unit. The way this one's tail is curled makes me think that it's shooting some kind of projectile. So on this screenshot, they actually have the hover auto cannon selected which shows that it looks like it has the ability to land, which this one does look like it is in the landing position. So it's actually like a turret that you can maneuver. If these are indeed projectile flying bugs, they surely won't be as problematic as the pyro flies. If it's just damage on hit projectiles, that's not as bad as the lingering fire that the pyro flies left. I was wondering if this unit was some variation of a tactical officer but for the police units, but because the unit is selected, we actually can see down here that it is a mechanized marksman. Now what does this icon mean for the mechanized marksman? That we don't know. Does he plant his sniper rifle on some kind of mounted tripod for stability or something? I guess we'll find out. One thing for sure is that these screenshots reveal a lot more about this DLC than the Gehenna screenshots revealed about the previous one. For example, from this one, we can see that the Riot Shield ability where they hunker down and defend against the waves of bugs is actually an ability they use. Not only that, but we can see there is a new resource pool used for this DLC. But what is it exactly used for is the real question. I would have presumed it would have been for all of the new units. Like how the mercenary funds applied to all of the new units on Gehenna. But the way the resource pool is a computer chip makes me think that maybe it's used for the mechanical units like the drones and the walkers. We can actually do a bit of math down here with the units that we do know. Out of all the recognizable icons down here, it only accounts for 13 of the supplies and 2 of the war support. So only a little more than half of the supplies are being pulled from the original units. The rest of the supplies and this new resource must be being pulled from these new units that we know little about. And why is there a tiny plus 75 in brackets here? Well, I really don't know about that. 
Another aspect that they are revealing that they did not in the Gehenna announcements is that all of these screenshots, the entire level that they are depicting is shown in the layout down here. So in each of these, we can get a glimpse into what these levels exactly are going to be like. Since they clearly took these screenshots in some kind of dev mode where they had no fog of war. And because of that, we can see the entire layout of each of the levels. So not including those two challenge missions, this is four of the eight campaign missions that we already have a clear insight into how they will be. But all right, that is everything for now. We will continue to cover this as more updates are released. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.